Hey, welcome back to my videos on discovering your purpose. I'm Priscilla and I am your career and personal development coach and I'm here to help you discover what it is your heart truly desires so you can pursue a career that you love. So in other words, your dream career. So today I am talking to you if you've already decided that 2019 is the year when you're going to find a new career. And um, I'm here today to give you a couple of tips, a mistake to avoid, and a tip to help you make it not only a great year in 2019, but also to really help you find that awesome career and even your purpose. So the first thing that I want to tell you is the mistake to avoid. So often when we're looking for a new job or career, the mistake that we make is that we just update our resume and then we start sending it out, hoping to get a call back or whichever. And that is a mistake because you actually need to take a step back and really reflect on what it is you really want before updating your resume because you want your resume to reflect that dream career. So before even sending out a resume, take a step back, reflect, and take the time to answer the question, what is it that I really want? And I know it can be an overwhelming question, and I find that even sometimes when I ask people the question, like just in random conversations, I can see a certain discomfort in even giving yourself the permission to dive deep and really discover what it is you want. Because of course, when we're talking about the dream career, there are a lot of fears, beliefs, obstacles that get in the way. And that make us feel, well, I don't really know what I want because the dream career isn't accessible. Um, and basically that's where I would come in. I would help you not only identify your dream career, but see how accessible and how possible it can actually become. But regardless, what I'm really talking to you about today is how to get clear about what you really want um, as a first step. So first step, get clear. First question that I'm going to encourage you to ask yourself as you're getting clear about what you really want is what are your values? So ask yourself, what are my values? And often by default, when we're questioning our values around the workplace, by de default, we think about the bigger picture about what society considers as values in the workplace. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is to set aside what society thinks and really what are your values? What are those values that are important to you, that you live by day by day in your personal life? Because those are actually the values that you want to bring, bring into your workplace. And it's not the other way around. It's not you shifting who you are so you can fit into the workplace that you're in. It's actually about you identifying who you are, what are your values, and going out there and finding companies that share those same values. And I'm really putting a lot of emphasis on this because um, I like to use the analogy actually of dating and how when we start dating someone new, we're taking the time to get to know them and we also want to make sure we have shared values because maybe our goal is to have a long-term partnership or even get married with this person. And chances are you're not just going to um, listen to their values and think, well, those seem like good values for relationships, so let me just dive in there. And, and maybe you do, but regardless, um, that's not usually the approach. The approach is that we're looking at our values, what's important to us as an individual, and then comparing it to the other person's values. And that usually leads to long-lasting positive relationships. And that's the same thing for the work environment. Okay, you want to avoid just diving into a job without really taking the time to get a sense of who are they, what's their mission, what are their values, what do they stand by. If you believe that integrity is really important but you have a really dishonest employer, you're going to be dissatisfied in the workplace. And so taking the time to identify your values is going to make sure that in that next position, you're going to find career satisfaction. So with that, I would like to invite you, since I'm talking about gaining clarity about the dream career, to sign up for my newsletter. You're going to be receiving every month soul tips and inspiration to help you take actionable tips, um, actionable steps, sorry, 
towards your not only your dream career, but also living a life that you actually love. And when you sign up to my newsletter, I also have the free e-workbook, Define You, Define Your Dream Job, that has helped others really get clear about, well, what is it that they really want and what is it that they're looking for? So I hope to see you in my newsletter list, and I will see you in the next video.